Larry was most unusual because of whatever he did, he did well and he did the best of it. He had a knack for it, he had a slight hand. He was tall and he was thin and uh, he, he just had a knack for it. It was just like, it was such a rhythm. Well, I thought he was a big bullshitter. <laughs> you want me to tell the truth? Is this going on camera? <laughs> you know the way he talked. He kept telling me how many sticks of tobacco he could cut and everything. And I thought, well, ain't no way a man can cut that many sticks of tobacco. So, one evening he come over and said, I got off early today, I like to cut some tobacco. And he went back to the field and he cut uh, 800 sticks in three hours. And I thought, well, that man's lying to me. He ain't cutting no way you other sticks, but he come back and wanted his money, you know. And I paid, would pay him, and I said, well, I ain't gonna say nothing. I'll just go back there directly and check on him, see if he did cut it. Well, he cut 800 sticks, and he wasn't back there three hours. I couldn't believe it. Average man couldn't cut 800 sticks in a day. Often, while working alongside fellow cutters in the field, Larry would often be challenged to speed cutting contest by men who thought they could beat him, or at least match his pace. They never could. In one epic contest, Larry set what was to be considered a world record, cutting 2,358 sticks of tobacco in just eight and a half hours. By 1982, Larry had earned the title of the world's fastest tobacco cutter. He had bested everyone who had ever challenged him, which up until then consisted only of men of flesh and blood. Then came the ultimate test, a race that would make him a legend.